Hi, this is Dan Montgomery, President of the Illinois Federation of Teachers. I want to talk to you about what happened in Springfield today. First of all, thank you. Thank you for working in defense of our pensions and retirement security for at least two years in what's been a very difficult battle. Uh, yesterday, you and your colleagues went all over this state. You were in Quincy, Joliet, Peoria, Chicago, Marion, Peru, Skokie, Palatine, Gurney, and other places. IFT members together with other folks from other unions, meeting legislators, going to their offices, looking them in, them in the eye and saying, you cannot do this to our retirement security. That delivered a very powerful message. You make calls. There were 23,000 calls yesterday that we recorded. There were obviously more than that. It has to be in excess of 100,000 calls over the last week from all of us in the union movement. That is extraordinary. But think even further back. Think of the rallies we've had. You've come to Springfield. You've mailed your legislators. You've emailed them. You've called them on the phone. You've gone to their offices. You have participated up and down in this state to exercise your democratic voice and try to make sure that they do the right thing by this state and by you as a worker, as a public employee. And we've been very successful up until today. Today was a bitter defeat. We think this today what happened is a victory of politics over the rule of law, unfortunately. Uh, the close vote in both the Senate and the House moves a very destructive pension bill to the desk of Governor Quinn. We are going to urge him to not sign that bill. Frankly, I think it's likely he will sign it as soon as tomorrow. Um, if that happens, when that happens, we will be in court as soon as we practically can to defend our rights, your rights, your retirement security. We have been working with a legal team for a long time now to prepare and uh, get ready for this day. And we are ready. We are ready. So I, I don't want you to despair. It's a bitter disappointment, I know. But now the fight shifts and it moves to the courts. Governor Quinn likes to say, let the will of the people be the law of the land. Well, the Illinois Constitution is the law of the land, not the politics of Springfield. Have faith, stay strong, we'll be in touch, and thank you.